The Consumer Electronics Show is a showcase for futuristic prototypes and all the coolest gizmos and gadgets that are coming to market. Serene Adamji shows us what could be the future of driving. With cones around a parking lot, it looks like a course to learn how to drive. Are you scared? Not anymore. <laughs> but the man in the driver's seat has his eyes focused on his phone. Even both of Simon's hands are glued to it as the wheel continues to move itself. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I know I can trust the car. It's a course showing how we'll soon unlearn everything we've ever known about driving. By moving toward autonomy, it will take away uh, the risk of driving in a distracted mode. It will help do things for the driver that can do things better than the driver, faster than the driver. James Schwinn with Valio, the tech company that supplies many big car brands, says at this year's CES, we're even closer to getting autonomous cars on the market one day. What you would notice is probably more smooth functioning, uh, maybe less uh, jerky, less starting, stopping, more smoother, uh, more smooth maneuvering. But the company's biggest unveil? So once we're behind this vehicle, I can make that car disappear. Is a little Vegas magic. Personalized and contextualized. Valio exclusively took Box 11 on a ride, showing us technology that can make the car in front of yours disappear. What's going through my head is we're doing the magic act. <laughs> we're making the car disappear. That's super exciting. The company says it's safer than pulling out in the next lane and seeing if it's safe to move past. So right now you're looking at the car right in front of you, and now you can see me. So when is all this technology supposed to be available to the public? Well, the company says give it at least five more years. Until then, it's at least fun to look at. Reporting from CES, Zorin Adamji, Fox 11 News. The wave of the future. That's a fun assignment. <laughs> I'll like that one next year.